God bless you. Let me just, I want to add on to this. The temptation of Jesus and the human temptation. The temptation of Jesus in the wilderness, that temptation was the same temptation that the children of Israel did towards God. They went out to other gods. When they come, you know what they tempted God when they complained and said, You brought us out here to kill us. You brought us out here in the wilderness to die. We should have stayed in Egypt. They didn't believe God was real. They didn't believe he was real. They didn't believe that he was going to take care of them. They didn't believe he was the only true living God. And they tempted him. Didn't believe that he was the only true living God. Didn't believe that they were going to the promised land. The wilderness was not was not their permanent place. But they didn't believe it. They brought out here to die. God told Moe, they didn't rebel against you. They didn't speak against you. They spoke against me. Tempting God. Didn't believe that he was the only true living God. All right. And they went out to other gods. Read Deuteronomy 6.16. 15, 14. Do the Robin 6. And the temptation to you was the same thing Satan did. If you be the Son of God, trying to put trying to put something in there that he's not the Son of God. If you be, command stone to be made bread, jump off, and the angel God get an angel child over you. If you be. Same thing. If you be. <laughs> That's the temptation. That's what that temptation was about. Trying to cast doubt on whether he is the Son of God. Let me show you something. Revelation chapter 2 and verse 10. Feel none of those things, this is Jesus talking, which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you in prison. For what purpose? That ye may be tried. And ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thy faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. You be faithful. The devil don't want you to be faithful. He wants you to quit. Hebrew chapter 11. I magnify my own. I ain't studying your position in the church, God and Christ. It don't mean nothing. I'm a servant of Jesus Christ. All right, Hebrew chapter 11. This is talking about faith. 33. Who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong out of weakness, waxed valiant in fight, turned the, to flight the enemies of the aliens, women received their dead to life. Others were tortured, not accepting deliverance. With me, I'm not going to torture you if you turn from serving to a living God. I'm not going to torture you. We ain't going to accept deliverance. You might as well kill us. We ain't accepting it. We're going to stand. Not accept deliverance. Remember what Pastor Paul say to live in Christ and die again. Not accepting deliverance. That they might obtain a better real erection. Others had trial of cruel mocking, scourging, yea, moreover, of bonds and imprisons. 
imprisonment. They were stoned. They were sown asunder. They were tempted. Tempted. That's enough. God bless you. Thank you for this.